Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do four easy nail designs. And if you want to see my previous video on how to make these gel extensions last for a month, go ahead and click the link. Today we'll be using my favorite brand from Amazon. This is the brand called Gel Like and I really love their medium almond. I'm going to use the same pink color that I did in my last video, but I'm going to add a matte top coat. Having a matte top coat is gonna make it easier to paint designs on top. So the first design we have is a classic French tip. This is the video that I posted on TikTok. It's a French tip hack, and I learned this method from Ball Pit Nails on TikTok. And ever since I learned how to do this French tip hack, it's been such a game changer. I'm gonna take this gel liner from Beatles. It's super pigmented. To start, I'm gonna make a horizontal line and then a vertical line in the center. Then I'm going to make a line from the side and connect it at the top. Then I'm going to round out these corners so they make a perfect smile line. And then I'm just gonna fill it in. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my other fingers. Then I'm going to take acetone on a flat brush and tap off the excess and then I'm going to use it to clean up the sides of my nail. I messed up on this nail so let's try again. I just wiped it off with an alcohol prep pad. This French tip method also makes it super easy to make all of your French tips match on every nail. The second way I'm going to show you how to do a French tip is using a silicone stamper. This went viral on TikTok a couple months ago and basically you will just paint some gel on the silicone stamper and then at an angle push your thumb inside the stamper. It will create this smile line and I like to deepen the smile line by painting the side and connecting it to the French tip. And then I'm just going to take some acetone on a flat brush again and kind of clean up that smile line so it becomes perfect. Then I'm going to finish with my favorite top coat. This is from Beatles. It's super affordable and really easy to use. Then I'm going to carefully coat each of my nails with the top coat. This is a non-wipe top coat so you do not have to wipe off with any alcohol. And once it's cured, I'm going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil. And that's how I do my easy French tips. It's super quick and easy, and my French tips always look perfect. Next, we're going to do some spring flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and use this pastel gel liner kit, also from Beatles. It comes with all of these beautiful colors. I'm going to put them on this little piece of foil so it's easier to paint and pick up colors. Then I'm going to take this dotting tool and carefully paint five dots. If you want a smaller flower, you're going to want to put the five dots closer. And if you want a bigger flower like this one, put the dots a little farther apart. Then I'm going to take a liner brush and carefully bring those dots to the middle so I can create those petals. For today's nails, I'm going to go ahead and do the smaller dot. So once you paint those five dots, you're just going to fill it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my dotting tool and pick up another color and do the same thing.
I'm using the same pastel blue color from the gel liner kit. Next, I'm going to take this red gel liner, this is going to be the color for the cherries, and I'm going to make two dots on each nail with this dotting tool. Then I'm going to cure this in the nail lamp, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this green color on a liner brush to make the stems. I'm feeling like this might be my time to shine with you, with you, with you. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. This is my first time doing cherries, and I'm obsessed. I didn't think it would turn out this cute. Now I'm going to paint this white line to mimic a reflection in the cherries. And once I added this, it made the cherries look so perfect and real. Then I'm going to finish off with the same top coat and the same cuticle oil. Make sure you rub it in to moisturize your skin. And this is what the cherries look like. I'm obsessed. Next, we're going to do this abstract color blocking design. I'm going to take the same colors from that same pastel gel liner kit and I'm going to go ahead and paint some swirls and then I'm going to fill that in. This liner set is amazing because the colors are super vibrant and only require one coat. Make sure to take your time and have fun while you're doing these designs.
and then I'm going to finish off with the same top coat. If you like this video, hit the like button and let us know what other nail content you would like to see and hit the subscribe button and post notifications. We are planning to post way more content on here including nail videos and couple vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't come to me.